What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I have a ComC Mail Day for you today. And it's a little bit smaller ComC Mail Day than I would normally have, but I had some stuff that um, I wanted to get in, so I figured I would go ahead and get a shipment. And um, for those, you know, people always ask me, well, how long did this take? This one I had um, via economy. A lot of times I do rush. This one was via economy, so it took a few days under a month, which uh, I was in no rush for this stuff, so that did not bother me at all. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so this first one is a patch from National Treasures, a set called All Decade of Spencer Haywood, and there's not a lot of Spencer Haywood stuff out there. This one was listed, and it was listed at a great price, and it just sat there for a while, and I was trying to get it for cheaper still, even though it was already a great price, and I ended up, um, I think I ended up getting it for around 25 or 30 bucks, but there are not a, there are not a lot of Spencer Haywood patches, and B, uh, probably not any others this size. I do have one that, that's a pretty nice patch that came from Totally Certified, but it's probably about half this size. So I had to grab that, because there's not a lot of that stuff out there. This is, um, I love my pacers, I love my nameplates, I love my court king, so this is kind of the, um, all of that together. I, ha I believe I have the Y from Joe Young's nameplate, so now I have the G as well. I don't have the O-U or the N, but uh, now I have the start and the finish. So this is numbered 5 of 5, which, you know, of course, they just do it by the last name, so it's the only G. A lot of people, you know, are on the fence about those. You saw a recent mail day where I had a Solomon Hill one. Yes, they're photo shoot worn. I don't have a problem with that, you know, seeing as it's labeled as such as it's event worn or player worn. So anyway, added that one. This one I uh, pretty much binned when I saw it. Um, this is a set that I've said that I'm doing before. I want to commit to this set. I don't like the patch windows, but I really like the checklist. And uh, as of as I'm recording this, there's a bunch of these on eBay right now. So this, this is kind of my my fork in the road. Am I really collecting this set? Because if I am, I need to go aggressively after those. Uh, if I'm just casually collecting it, which it's fine, there's no problem with that. You know, I, I just kind of have to decide because you don't want to pour money into something that you're not actually committed to. I don't know. I just like the cards. I like the patch. Nice patch piece for Moses Malone. I think Moses is underrated. You've seen me pick up Moses stuff before. All right, Al Harrington printing plate. This is from 2004 Tops, and I have three of the four plates. I don't even know which one I'm missing. This is the magenta one, but I have three of the four. So um, somewhere out there is that last one. If, if I get it, great. If I don't, you know, it's not the end of the world. All right, well, let's do this patch card first since it's separate. This is uh, outside of... I, I don't buy a lot of WNBA relics, and really there aren't a lot of WNBA relics out there. But Becky is going into the Hall of Fame. And this is a, about as nice a patch as you can get. I don't know. Would you call this a logo woman? Uh, it's not the one. You can see the one that she's wearing there. It's not the one from the jersey. It's the one from the shorts. And I think a lot of these WNBA All-Star Relics are from the shorts. I've got some others I've, I've verified are from the shorts as well. Um, and this is number 269 out of 444, but they mixed everything in their jerseys, patches, you know, a little bit of everything. So I have no doubts about the authenticity of this one. Um, I, this one was not cheap. Uh, I tried to get it for cheaper. I tried for months and months and months. And uh, then I, I kind of got, when the Hall of Fame announcement came, I kind of got worried, like, somebody else is going to grab that. I need to grab that. So... I did, and you know, it's it's Com C, so I just moved some other stuff, and, and it was fine. All right, Chris Perez is going to be at um, a card show that I'm, I'm going to next month, or in August. I don't know when this video is actually going to air. It's, it's a card show in August, so I picked that up to get signed. 
Uh, this is a 48 Bowman. I think I got this probably over a year ago for like three bucks. And yeah, it's not in great shape, but it's a 48 Bowman for three bucks. Can't beat that. Jack Smiley, and he is smiling. All right, Malcolm Mitchell, a Patriots RPA, not a card I expected to buy, but uh, I was at a literacy conference earlier this summer, and he was the keynote speaker, and he was awesome. And it, I left there thinking, you know, this guy's an athlete. I really enjoyed that. How do I respond? Well, of course, I buy cards. So I went on Com C. His RPA was like 12 bucks. So it's like, all right, I'm buying that, you know, instant buy. Um, so that I might even take that to work because, like I said, it was a conference on literacy. And um, it's kind of related there. So anyway, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Reggie the cat is is pounding on the door right now or he's starting to. I'm at the crossroads. Do I stop the video or do I keep going? All right. Here's a Halliburton insert. This was a cheap insert, like a dollar or something, but I figured out I was at this game against the Magic, so pick that up. All right. This is a card from 1951, Burke Ross. And um, a listener or a viewer named Frank reached out to me. And he said, hey, have you ever looked into Sherman White? I said, no, honestly, you know, I haven't. He said, you, you should really read Sherman White's story and maybe even do an episode on it at some point in the future. And I, I did read about it. This is, uh, as far as, as Frank and I know, this is the first uh, black player, basketball player featured on an American release. Uh, no, this wasn't a, a licensed NBA set. Well, he, it couldn't have been. He was banned from the NBA. So um, very interesting story. Because he, he was involved in a point-shaving scandal. So anyway, I'll, I'll save the rest of the story because, I one, I'm not going to do it justice, but two, I might include that in a later segment. So that's Sherman White, and that's from the uh, 1951 Burke Ross set. Very cool. All right, we've got a Nalissa Smith Prism Rookie WNBA card, Indiana Fever, color match, uh, number to 199. Nice thing about those color matches, they, they don't break the bank. You know, 199 is reasonable. Another Chris Perez for the signing. This is a Kenny Anderson um, Metal Fusion. Uh, this is the titanium version, though, which uh, is not numbered for Kenny. Thought that was a cool card. If I ever, if he ever does a signing around me again, which he did uh, earlier this year, I might take this card. I think that would look possibly look cool signed. I don't know. It could be a disaster with all the little holes on it. Has anyone ever gotten one of these signed? Have you guys? Let me know in the comments. All right, this card, <laughs> this is a card I sent in, and they labeled, ComC labeled it as a base, and I said, no, it's not. You know, please check it again. And they said they checked it again, and they said it was a base. So I paid to ship it back, and it's clearly a silver. Um, which, you know, people make mistakes. It's not the end of the world, but... Um, like, I knew this was a silver. I'm not sending uh, an Al Jefferson base card in. I'm very careful about what I send in. I do all my, you know, I should actually, I should have sent them the link to my ComC Purgatory box video because I probably did a video showing what I was sending in. All right, here's a Chris Duarte cheap silver hollow for my binder. Uh, and then last card. This is a card that I sent in a while ago. And it didn't sell, and I, and I knew it was jersey numbered, but there's really no way to show that on there other than someone knowing the jersey numbers and going through them. So I just had it sent back. I said, you know what, that's jersey numbered. I'm just going to have it sent back. Because if I move that as a show, I can put on the tag jersey numbered or whatever. All right. So anyway, that was a uh, pretty fun Com C shipment. Um, quite the variety there. We've got baseball. We've got base. We've got 50s. We've got football RPAs. We've got 40 stuff. We've got WNBA patches, printing plates, Moses Malone. That, that was a really fun mail day. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Now I get to scan all this stuff and do all the fun stuff afterward. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.